Hey, well, the Yankees have turned things around on this road trip. They limped into the road trip. They've taken four of the first five. Now looking for a sweep. So the Phillies have not had a lot to uh, celebrate during this homestand. Oh. The young lefty is looking to be somewhat of a stopper for the Phils. Yeah, he's going to have to go deep, Tom. The bullpen, of course, last night in that 12-inning game was used a lot. Got him. Threw him another changeup. One out here in the first. Fly ball center field. Rojas going back toward the track, toward the wall. Makes the catch gracefully. And now the one-two. Swing and a miss. That changeup is dancing. Two strikeouts for Sanchez. Nestor Cortez is 23rd start, 4-9, 4.13 ERA. Cortez on the road with a 6.18 ERA at home, 2.48. But of more concern in his last three starts, in those starts, his ERA is 10.13. Swing and a miss, got him. It's the payoff pitch on the way. Swung on line, hard to left, going back on it. Verdugo still going back, reaches out and makes the running catch. Pitch to Harper, swung on and missed. He got him with a high fastball, so Nestor Works a one, two, three, bottom of the first. Didn't start yesterday. They said that was part of the plan, so he's played the first game of the series. He did pinch hit yesterday, struck out, and now back in the starting lineup. Line drive, base hit. And that's hit so hard that Hayes has to hustle over to cut it off. You know, we told you that Stanton's uh, single was 120 miles per hour off the bat. That's his hardest hit ball of the season. That one was not 120, but another hit for Jazz Chisholm Jr. He just dunks it into left center field. The magic continues. The Yankees are set up. We want to have big innings against this Phillies team because they're an explosive offense. Swing and a miss. Throws a slider to get his third strikeout. So here is Verdugo with nine hits in his last 22 at bats and the payoff. Ball four. Tough at bat. And the Yankees have the bases loaded for DJ LeMahieu. LeMahieu hitting 122 against lefties, 194 against righties. He's always been good against the Phillies. But... Driven into left center field. Going back is Hayes. Turning, looking. And that's going to be off the wall. Three runs will score. They say it's a double right now. This is a crew chief review for a potential home run. Yeah, yeah, that's gone. That's a grand slam. And I think that's why you saw the outfielders play it the way they did. But well, I don't think this review will take very long, and I think you'll see DJ start to run around the rest of the bases. The call in the field is overturned. It is a home run. Now I can say see ya. Say it. See ya. <laughs> a grand slam for LeMahieu. Boy, did he need this, Joe. Yeah, here's that sweeper, and boy, that's a good pitch to hit. Sanchez had not given up a home run here until the swing. He's so well liked in that room. He's such a professional, works hard. He hasn't gotten the results. So you can see the joy his teammates felt for him. Nestor from the side, swung on and missed. He got him. Oh, oh. Nestor. Rocking, rolling, dealing. Upstairs. <laughs> it's the hardest fastball he's thrown all game, though. You've got to have such strength in your legs and your core and balance to do that. Swing and a miss. Lines one into center, but Judge does not have to move. And Cortez perfect through three. Nine up, nine down for the Phillies. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, and Kyle Schwarber will lead it off. Three hitters in the lineup. I know Trey's not in today, but now one for their last 25. A three two. And that's outside ball four. And the Phillies Take. have their first base runner. And it's a walk to Schwarber, so he heads down to first. It'll bring up Austin Hayes. Line drive out to left for Dugo's. Not going to get that one. A one hop off the base of the wall. Schwarber to third, Hayes to second. He's going to get there, and he hangs on. So Austin Hayes with the first hit of the game for the Phillies. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but here comes Harper in a big spot. They need him. They desperately need him. And the payoff. Got him. Harper's struggles continue. A big strikeout for Cortez. He brings up Alec Bohm. Out towards shortstop, a run will come home. Volpe hesitates for a moment, throws to first. Phillies are on the board. It's a 4-1 game. Hayes goes over to third. They hate to have second and third, no outs. The possibility of only coming up with one run. Put your three, four, five guys up. Pull through the hole, left side, a base hit. Here comes Hayes. RBI single for Castellanos. It's now a 4-2 game. That's a little better. Yeah, that's nice. It, like you said, second and third, no outs. You know, you hope to get at least two in that inning. Bottom of the fifth inning, Yankees up four to two. 
as Weston Wilson will lead things off. Hey. That's a beautiful hey. swing deep to left, and it's gone. Weston Wilson solo home run. And Weston Wilson leads off the bottom of the fifth inning with his second home run of the season. A low laser into the left field seats. And it's a one run game at four to three. Three two. And that's up and away ball four. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. So he's through five and he's winning. Two gone. And here's Anthony Volpe. Soft ground ball going to be a very tough play. Sanchez will not make the play. Infield single for Volpe. That one is lined into left field. It's a base hit cutting over his Hayes. And he will hold Volpe to second base. Aside from the grand slam, these last few innings have been very good for Sanchez, but he may go get Ruiz. Yeah, here he comes. To face LeMahieu. Yep. The last thing he wants to get two quick outs, and then you end up giving up some runs. Yankees could really give themselves some breathing room. You could send up Ben Rice against Jose Ruiz, but they stay with LeMahieu. Line drive. Center field. It's a base hit for LeMayu. It splits the outfielders and it goes to the wall. Volpe will score. Here comes Verdugo. He'll score. A two run double for LeMayu. He has six runs batted in and the Yankees lead 6 3. So LeMayu with his, without a doubt, best day, not just this year, probably in a couple of years. So Nestor turns the win over to the bullpen. Can they hold on? Out to right center field. That's pretty well hit. Going back is Judge out toward the wall. He jumps and it's off the base of the wall. Boom to second. He's galloping around. And the draft going over to third. And he'll get there sliding. Second triple of the year for Boehm. Got to put this ball in play. Can't leave Boehm out there at third with less than two outs. Castellanos delivered a two out RBI single back in the fourth inning. Ground ball over to third. Chisholm's got it. He looks to home, but then throws to first in time. A run scores. And it's now a 6-4 to four ball game. And Bryson Stott with his first pinch hit of the season. He's aboard to start this seventh inning for the Phillies. Grounded and grabbed there by LeMayu on the high hop. I think the out at first, moving to second, is Stott. Rutter in scoring position with one out, and it brings Marsh up to pinch hit. Inside ball four and a pinch hit walk for Marsh puts runners on first and second with one out for Schwarber and the one two swing and a miss got him on a change in the dirt and now two outs Phillies are one for five with runners in scoring position that's been the ongoing theme the last since the All Star break Hayes with a high fly ball. Left field going back for Dugo. He's on the track. He's at the wall and he makes the play up against the wall for the final out. So Kainley gets out of trouble. They leave two. So close for Austin Hayes. Two and two. Line drive out to right center field and that's going to split the gap. It's going to be cut off on the track. Boom the second. Here's the throw. He is safe at second. Somehow he extended that leg ahead of the tag of Volpe and hope he's hope he's okay. That's a heck of a throw by Judge. A heck of a throw, but a heck of a play to just cut that ball off where it got to the fence. Castellanos has driven home two already today. He's the tying run, the pitch. That's it sharp leader second pass. Torres into right center field. Here comes Baum. He'll score. And the Phillies are within one. It's a 6-5 game. Thank goodness for Nick Castellanos today. Line drive, base hit it to right field. Castellanos around second, he's heading to third. He'll get there. And the Phillies have the tying run on third, the go-ahead run at first. There he goes again, and it hit him. That'll load the bases up. So he mentioned Lider working in his third game out of four, something the Yankees usually don't like to do. Phillies trying to come all the way back. The base is loaded, one run game. Base hit could give the Phillies the lead. Got him. Leiter gets tough. The biggest strikeout of Leiter's <laughs> tenure as a Yankee. They leave him loaded. Holmes, 21 of 28 in save opportunities. He blew last night's save. He's blown five of the last seven saves. Faced the top of the Phillies order. Top of one of the big boys to step up in this key situation. Back toward the middle. Kyle's on. We will find out. A leadoff single. One and two to Hayes. Hayes one for four today. Slide out to left twice, once to the wall. 
High fly ball, left field and deep. Going back for Dugo. He's on the track. He's going to make the play right in front of the wall. Yeah, that's two. It didn't sound great no, off it, the bat, but the way the ball's carrying, you don't know. Yeah, that's two that Hayes just missed by inch. Now Harper 0 for 4, 1 for his last 29 for the first time in his major league career. This could be two. There's one. And there's two, and the Yankees sweep the Phillies.